Hi friends I am Balaji Rao welcome to BR Max class This is second chapter in NCERT test book of class 11 The chapter name is relations and functions In this class we will learn the definition of cartesian product of sets and we will learn how to calculate cartesian product of sets with examples and we will learn five important points related to cartesian product of sets first you see the definition of cartesian product of sets what is the definition of cartesian product of sets let a and b are any two non empty sets you consider this a and b are any two non empty sets non empty sets means what set a contains some element set b also contains some elements both the sets are non empty sets you consider a and b are two non empty sets then cartesian product of sets a comma b is denoted by look here is denoted by a cross b we read this as a cross b not a into b cartesian product of sets a comma b is denoted by a cross b and is defined as set of all ordered pairs from a and b try to understand how a cross b is defined a cross b is defined as a cross b is defined as set of all ordered pairs from a and b this definition won't be completed until you will tell this statement what is a cross b a cross b equal to set of all ordered pairs x comma y such that x belongs to a and y belongs to b ordered pair you see here what is the order this first element belongs to this set a this x belongs to set a and what about this y the second element belongs to set b that is the that's why it is called ordered pair first element belongs to first set second element belongs to second set ordered pair okay you see here x belongs to a and y belongs to b however in examination if they ask the definition of cartesian product of sets you should write all these things including this information see this is this information a cross b equal to set of all order pairs x comma y such that x belongs to a and y belongs to b you will get more clarity about this cartesian product of sets with this example you see this example here set a is 1 comma 2 and set b is 3 comma 4 comma 5 two sets are there set a is 1 comma 2 set b is 3 comma 4 comma 5 you now we will calculate a cross b how to calculate a cross b you see here you take the element 1 you pair with all the elements of second set like a uh, 1 comma 3 1 comma 4 1 comma 5 you observe here this is uh, take the element 1 and you pair with all the elements of second set 1 comma 3 next ordered pair 1 comma 4 next ordered pair 1 comma 5 once it is over then you take the second element and you pair with all the elements of second set what you will get ordered pair 2 comma 3 look here ordered pair 2 comma 3 next ordered pair 2 comma 4 next ordered pair 2 comma 5 i hope you are understanding so in the same way if you want to calculate b cross a how to calculate b cross a first you write set b what is set b 3 comma 4 comma 5 okay cross set a set a is 1 comma 2 how to calculate b cross a you take first element from the from the set b and you pair with all the elements of this set 1 comma 2 see what you will get ordered pair 3 comma 1 ordered pair 3 comma 2 i hope you are understanding ordered pair 3 comma 1 ordered pair 3 comma 2 now you take the second element of set b and pair with all the elements of this set ordered pair 4 comma 1 ordered pair 4 comma 2 right now you take this third element 5 and you pair with all the elements of this set mm, yes ordered pair 5 comma 1 ordered pair 5 comma 2 i hope you are getting this right now we will understand this more clearly with another example look here i consider set a as a comma b and set b 1 comma 2 you need to calculate a cross b how to calculate a cross b first i written set a cross set b how to calculate a cross b you take an element a and you pair with all the elements of this set that is ordered pair a comma 1 and ordered pair a comma 2 i hope you are understanding first you take one element and you pair with all the elements of second set now you take set b and pair with all the elements of this set what you will get ordered pair b comma 1 ordered pair b comma 2 okay right now uh, see this uh, how to calculate b cross a first you write set b 
set b 1 comma 2 cross set a is a comma b how to calculate b cross a you take 1 and you pair with all these elements what you will get ordered pair 1 comma a next ordered pair 1 comma b next ordered pair 2 comma a next ordered pair 2 comma b i hope you are understanding okay so what we learned till now in this class we learned the definition of cartesian product of sets and we learn how to calculate a cross b and b cross a okay now we will learn five important points in cartesian product of sets okay you see this first point if set a has m elements set b has n elements then number of elements in a cross b equal to mn set a has how many elements m elements set b has how many elements n elements then number of elements in a cross b equal to mn you observe this example in set a how many elements are there two elements are there set b how many elements are there three elements are there a cross b contains how many elements here two into three six elements you see one two three four five six so what the point I am saying here, you, is, you observe here, set B contains three elements and this set contains two elements and cross product of these two containing six elements. What I am trying to say, if set A has M elements, set B has N elements, then A cross B has MN elements. That is the point we are discussing. So that is the first point we learn. This is your this is very very important point if set a has m elements set b has n elements then number of elements in a cross b equal to mn okay now note two second point in general a cross b is not equal to b cross a a cross b is not equal to b cross a i will try to explain this with previous examples you observe here in this order in this a cross b ordered pair 1 comma 3 is there ordered pair 1 comma 3 is there in b cross a ordered pair 1 comma 3 check it here 3 comma 1 is there ordered pair 1 comma 3 is different from ordered pair 3 comma 1 are they are different yes these are not equal they are different you observe in this ordered pair 1 comma 3 is there in this order pair 1 comma 3 is not there that means what? A cross B is not equal to B cross A. Okay. Third point you see. Either A or B is empty set. Then A cross B is a empty set. Either A or B is empty set. Then A cross B is a empty set. For example, I'll for example, I'll take set A like this. Set A as 1 comma 2. Okay. Set B as empty set. Calculate A cross B. How to calculate A cross B? Hmm. Calculate. Uh, what is a cross b you take an element 1 comma what is here we will write like this is gap comma 2 comma gap like this we will write is it is a order pair first of all this is not a ordered pair this is wrong what i am writing here that is wrong what about a cross b what what can we form an order pair no we cannot form an order pair so in such case we say that a cross b is empty set that is this third point either set a or set b is empty set then a cross b is also empty set okay so you re you should remember this point either set a or set b is empty set then a cross b is a empty set these points are very very important okay fourth point either a or b is infinite set then a cross b is a infinite set you observe here i taken set a as 1 comma 2 set b i'll take like this 3 4 5 6 and so on it's an infinite set i taken what about a cross b what you will get a cross b uh, ordered pair 1 comma 3 next ordered pair 1 comma 4 ordered pair 1 comma 5 ordered pair 1 comma 6 it continues like this that means what happened a cross b is also infinite set so here that is the fourth point we are discussing either a or b is infinite set then a cross b is a infinite set i hope you are getting this point either set a or set b is infinite set then a cross b is a infinite set okay now see the fifth point when we say two order pairs are equal see you see this uh, this order pair 1 comma 2 uh, 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 1 can we say these order pairs are equal no we cannot say these order pairs are equal when we say two order pairs are equal you see here uh, this is one that means their x coordinates are equal and this is to their y coordinates are equal these two order pairs are equal yes of course we can easily say these two order pairs are equal if when two order pairs are equal uh, it means that their x coordinates are equal and their y coordinates are also equal you observe here the order pair x comma y equal to the order pair a comma b what it mean it means that x equal to a and y equal to b I, recommend, I strongly recommend you to note on these uh, points 
With this, the theory part related to first exercise is completed. In next exercise, we will start solutions of exercise number 2.1.